everybody. So I am back today. I've had a request to look at a basic weave in international waltz. So we're just going to look at this in a nutshell today. Um, give you some helpful hints for both lead and follow uh, to make this look and feel better for you. And I love showing a lady's perspective on this stuff. So let's get started. So the lead's footwork in this figure, I'm not going to go over choreography before and after, though you do have a lot of options, but I do know as man, whatever perceives this, I'm going to exit on my right foot. So our footwork, and I'll show from a number of different angles, back, recover, back, 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 side and slightly forward. I'll show this from a different angle. And I'm back in line of dance here. So everyone's dancing around the floor this way. This will be my new line of dance. So I'm blocking my lady here going backwards. Back on the right toe. Forward on your left toe. Back on the right toe. Back on the left toe. Back on the right toe. Forward on the left toe. Okay. Let me show from another angle. So we're going to pretend we're on this wall. Okay. So our timing one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to talk about inside and outside edge of foot. This, I'm going to come closer, is the inside edge of my foot. That's the outside edge. So I'm going to do top of foot, rolling through. Outside edge. This will lead your lady outside of partner. Lead your lady back to a closed position. Oops, think about that. So, top of foot, top of foot, outside edge, inside edge, just closes her back up, and side is slightly forward. I'm not worried about the forward. You probably know at this point that you're supposed to, to how to do a toe and a heel. I'm assuming that. But the backwards movement, there's a lot more finesse to the foot. I'm doing an outside edge or an inside edge or the top of the foot. I don't want you to think going back on a, a toe or a box. I'm afraid you're going to get back weighted. Okay, so now I'm going to head this way. This is my new line of dance. I'll do timing again. suggestion for you. It depends if you're social dancing or competing. Most people, and I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you might be, have this in a bronze routine. So totally suitable for social dance or competition. It feels better to your girl if you exit in promenade. And you can exit either outside of partner or in promenade. So we'll show both of those leads. 
Um, for competitive purposes, usually people don't look great in promenade position until later on in their dancing. So if you compete, even if it feels bad, it might be worthwhile to go ahead and exit outside of partner. But I'll show both of those because they're both totally options in social dance and competition at all levels. Okay, so I'll go line of dance this way. This will be the basic weave ending in promenade position and waltz. One. figure with the toe flat heel and do probably a chasse to close. Okay, the weave ending outside of partner. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm landing outside of partner, diagonal wall. The next figure is probably going to be a natural turn outside of partner. Again, that uh, last option is um, less comfortable for your girl, but if you're just starting out competing, I'd recommend going with the first option. So you ultimately finish with that natural turn, but you'll insert a chasse in there. That whole combo looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, promenade, and then chasse, one, two, and three, natural turn, four, Five, six. They end in the same spot, but again, I'm talking from the lady's perspective, um, what's going to be feel better for her or what maybe is going to look better for your competition. Okay. Leads. Make sure to look where you're going. A lot of guys have a tendency to look at the girl. I'll show that going down the line of dance this way. You're looking at her. You're looking at her. Um, this might be... Um, applicable if you were doing like left foot, right foot rocks and tango or something, but not so much in waltz. Stylistically, you don't really want to look under there. We're going to look where we were, where we were, where we were, where we're going, where we're going, where we're going. This will not only telegraph to your girl which way you're going, but it'll telegraph to the other leads in the room where you're going. So you have less forecraft issues, okay? So let's switch gears. I just want to Give the lady some little nuggets she can take home to make this look and feel better for her, too. So, ladies, I'm heading down line of dance. I'll we'll pretend we're dancing around the floor this way. This will be in my line of dance. So, I'm going to step forward and have a choice here to do toe or heel. I prefer toe. One. Back on the right foot, two. Recover on the forward left foot, three. Forward, outside of partner, four, turning to the left, five, back to second slide, tie on the right toe, six, and my left foot is free to go into something, probably a natural turn, okay? I'll show that again one more time from this angle with timing, and I'll show that from a couple other angles, okay? So for ladies, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now I'll show down the line of dance this way, going this way down the ramp. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay, ladies, now I'm going to go down line of dance this way. So you can see from this angle. Forward, back, forward, forward, forward and turning, side and slightly, back. Okay? Now ladies, I'm going to go down the line and dance this way. So we're traveling around there this way. I'm inside the partner. He's inside of me. I'm inside. I'm going to switch to outside the partner on that right heel. Inside the partner on this left toe. And I'm going to finish inside, but I'm switching my shape to invite him to go outside the partner. Okay. So ladies, let's just cover a couple things that will make this look and feel better for you. Number one, just like the man, when you go back on that right foot, don't actually go backwards. If anything, I'm pushing slightly forward the whole time. I will leave my head in that position, but I'm certainly not going to take my whole body back. 
So here's bad for lady. One, two, three. Okay, I almost see like an American Tango Corte thing there a lot. It's going to be more of rolling through the foot and keeping your weight as much as you can on that front foot. That would look like this in comparison. One, two. You see how my head is still forward. It's not back. suggestion to be light in his arm. Keep your head left of your butt. It's not on the butt. It's not behind the butt. It's left. I always pretend like I'm dancing with Santa. That's my little cheek. This will help you stay underneath of him so you're not fighting him for space. It will feel better for you too. Okay, I'm going to show that from this angle so hopefully you can see my head's leftward point. So it's not back. It's left. rotational figures. I'm going to weave those rotate in the end. So always think about like I'm pretending like I'm holding up a fruit basket with this leftward poise. Um, we don't want to see like an airplane action and the lower you are, the more leftward you are, the more you're going to lift this left side long, 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 long. Okay. Another suggestion I have, um, it's difficult for your partner to where you are to center you because you're generally more slender than him. Um, and so that exiting position is a little bit hard for him, especially when you end outside of partner. So I make an educated choice as a follow. I don't just hang on like a sticky pad. I know for a fact that this weave is going to end either in prominent position or outside of partner. So I assume outside of partner, unless he gives me a very aggressive lead to promenade. So I'm going to invite him. I'll stay here when that sweet spot happens, okay? And I'm going to get down the line to dance this way. Okay, so we're dancing around the room this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Invite. Do you see how I'm opening up that right hip to say, here I am, Lee. Come close to me and dance to the wall. It'll make it more comfortable for you as well because you'll feel where you are. And won't, he's less likely to arm pick you through there, which I know is very uncomfortable. Okay, so I know those are just some little nuggets today. I wanted to keep this video nice and short for you to give you a couple helpful hints. If it was helpful, please press that like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you implement these techniques um, in your waltz, this should also um, have some residual benefits for your left foot, right foot rocks and tango and your um, weaves and foxtrot as well. So thanks so much for joining me today and have an awesome week. See you soon. Bye.